What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we're gonna talk about how to manage, how to farm the most important resource in Dark Eden M, and that is right up here, folks. Gold, the golden coin. You need this for everything. Most importantly, your potions, your HP potions, your mana potions, a lot of stuff like that. Now, this game has a lot of traps in it, and uh, it's kind of off-putting. It's just a lot of ways to waste your gold if you don't manage it correctly and if you don't play the game this is kind of like i want to say it's like a hardcore game i mean you can't just come in here as a casual and get far in this game it is super duper hardcore so for that we're going to talk about this hopefully i can help you out so the first thing is and this is the most important thing is we're going to just first talk about managing our gold because if you don't manage your gold correctly you're going to be out there farming monsters for literally nothing and what i mean by that is you have to take into consideration your usage of potions compared to the amount of monsters you're able to destroy so if we go ahead and we take a look at the shop and we go to common you'll see that the health potions right here the ones that automatically work that the computer does they cost a hundred gold and same thing for mana and then you have these extra ones these quick health potions and this quick mana these ones are kind of manual they're separate from your automatic potions so these are more expensive you can purchase these and then you can set them up as hotkeys over here to auto use your regular potions that are up here you can go ahead to settings to the percentage that you want to have it activate so let's say when you drop uh, below 50 percent you know when you're 50 percent hp you want to have it use a potion you can just drop it down to 50 percent you can go ahead and you can change this however you want but the problem is these monsters, they drop very little gold if you have not already seen. Some of them in certain areas, you'll get like six gold, five gold for killing a monster. Now the problem with this is if you're gonna end up using one of these HP potions and you only kill maybe five or 10 monsters in that period, you're kind of losing gold right because the, the the conversion rate is really bad if you're only making like 50 gold but you're you have to use one of these hp potions to stay alive you're actually losing 50 gold so you're you're really not helping out and the same thing goes with your mana which is a whole nother thing um that you really need to be careful about because you can kind of uh, lose out a lot of gold on your mana again so it could be double you could be losing gold through your hp potions and your mana potions and you're killing monsters and you think you're farming correctly but really you're, you're just losing gold so that's really really important one thing that you can do to save your mana potions um is you can go ahead and turn off your skills so basically turn these off, put them all off on auto. So that means the computer will not use these when you're AFK grinding. And then when you put it to auto combat, your computer will just do basic attacks and you will not use any mana. Now, this can be kind of bad in a sense because it's going to take you longer to kill monsters. But there is a, a counter to this. What you can do is you can go and get in a party. This is probably the biggest tip that I have for literally anyone is party invitation. You always need to be in a party whenever you're grinding monsters. You should never be farming alone. If you're farming alone, you're screwing yourself. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your gold. You're just you're just you're not going to be productive. You always need to be in a party. Now, uh, this is a little this is a little uh, trick that I used to do. Uh, yeah. This is uh, this could be frowned upon by some people, but what I like to do is I, I like to get into like a big party. Like like a f I think five is the highest amount of uh, people in a party. So I get in like a full party, right? And then what I do is I go in here. I make sure I turn all my skills off. I put my character kind of in the back, right? Because if we're like farming, let's say we're farming these monsters right here for this local quest. <clears throat> I'll put my character in the back and that way uh, the people that I'm teamed up with, they'll be kind of in the front because they're kind of careless, right? They're not paying attention. So my character is ranged, I'm the Valkyrie class. So we'll sit in the back, 
we won't take any damage so we won't be using any of our hp potions and we won't be using our abilities so we won't be wasting any mana we'll just be auto attacking and uh, we're partied up so our other teammates they're kind of doing all the work for us you know so uh we're still getting credit for the kills on the creatures but we're not wasting anything it's a little sneaky thing that you can do you know just wanted to throw that out there but eh, it's something you can do you need to be super duper careful with the dungeons you need to make sure you do these every day however this is where the game kind of gets a lot of uh, a bait to you and, and it really tries to trap you. And if you're playing a certain class or something and your combat power is actually higher than the recommended power, it doesn't necessarily mean it is what you should be doing because again, you could be potentially wasting more gold through your mana potions and your HP potions, more importantly, your HP potions if you're taking a lot of damage. So what I mean by that is this game gives you access to a lot of things that you shouldn't necessarily be doing. And a lot of people will come in here, especially for the special dungeons, and they'll be like, all right, I'm level 39. I should be able to do this normal area, right? I have my, my current combat power is a bit higher than the recommended combat power, so I should be able to do this. You go and you run the dungeon, your character almost gets destroyed, or you get to the point where you burn through like 50 mana potions just to complete this dungeon. That is the thing that you really need to watch out for because at that point it's pointless. It, it is so counteractive to what you're trying to do and you're not gonna progress at all. If you ever notice that you're using a ridiculous amount of HP potions for a certain level, even though you think you should be doing it, drop down one level. It, trust me, even though the rewards may be slightly less, right? If we take a look at normal to easy, you'll notice that we do lose a bit uh, from common to uncommon materials. And then this is right here, just common. And then you'll also notice that the gold drops by about 300 and you also lose about five of these crystals. However, if you end up using like 50 HP potions just to survive this, you know, that, that's a lot of gold that you just wasted for it. You have to kind of really take a look and be like, all right, was well, that really worth it? Um, that's, that's just something that you just have to be uh, on the lookout for. Um, you, again, you have to value your gold. I can't really tell you how to value your gold because I don't know if you have money to spend or if you don't have money to spend, if you have a lot of gold, if you don't have a lot of gold, it's really gonna differentiate between tons of people, uh, their value on gold, but really, really important things that you really need to look out for is to manage that. Another thing that you also can do do is if we go into settings and we take a look at our range of movement during auto battle this is really really important to set this because you're going to enter dungeons and when you're like grinding you don't want to get to a point where you have your auto combat set to unlimited and your character is just kind of going around and they're 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 grabbing too many mobs of monsters if you can handle it, then it's fine. But early on, if you can't handle all those attacks and it's not worth it, you definitely want to lower this to like six meters, uh, maybe 10 meters. Because what this does is it means it's going to keep your character stationary in that one area. So you need to find a good area to farm, set your character up right there and then set it to auto that way maybe you just kind of are fed monsters slowly so let's say you find an area where monsters specifically spawn at set it to six meters and maybe you have like three come at you and you can handle three no problem and you're not wasting a lot of hp potions if you have it to unlimited your character's just going to start wandering around and before you know it you could leave come back and your character's sitting at the at the HQ base and you don't even know how long he's been destroyed for uh, you know because he went and he rounded up too many monsters and your character has like 50 guys attacking him at once and, and boom his HP just burns and then once your character is destroyed you lose all your buffs so then you just again you lose even more stuff so you really don't want to let your character get destroyed because then you lose all your buffs. I mean, you waste more gold on top of it. It's just, it's a bad idea. Farm the low monsters, even if it seems counteractive. 
just keep track of those hp potions don't let them burn out and that's pretty much it i am done playing this game i hope you guys and girls enjoyed uh the few videos that i did hopefully they helped you become a better player um there's no in particular reason that i'm, I'm kind of stopping this it's just uh, i'm just not into this game and there's a bunch of other games coming out uh this light is coming out tomorrow i actually uh started early access uh playing it yesterday i've been having a lot of fun with that game i'm gonna make a video on that later tomorrow we got the crypto ball z game another we mix uh play to earn game coming out wednesday we're gonna check that out make some videos on that so there's just a bunch of different games that I want to play, check out, make some videos on. Uh, but if you are enjoying this dark eating game, by far, you should continue to play it. Don't stop playing it just because I'm not going to make any videos on it anymore. If you're enjoying it, keep enjoying it. That is it. I hope you guys are, are becoming better players, better gamers in general. That's the main goal of this channel is to make you a better gamer. No matter what game you're playing, you can take certain pieces of knowledge from all the different games I've covered and and carry them into these other games that come out stay happy stay safe my friends i'll see y'all later peace